Hello, this is Nick with Albert Air Conditioning, and today we are looking at a new carrier furnace, a evaporator coil, and all new ductwork that we just did in an attic. Um, I'm gonna go through this system and show you what we did and talk about it, all of its features and benefits. So, as always, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions about this install that we did, uh, maybe you're thinking about moving your furnace to the attic, which we moved this out of a closet up to the attic. Uh, you know, I'd be happy to help you leave a comment in the section below. Uh, if you're in the Orange County, California area, and you'd like an estimate on this system or more information on carrier systems, give me a call at 714-526-6368, or you can visit us on our website at albertair.com. So let's get right into, into this uh, installation. So right in front of us right here is the carrier 95% uh, ultra low NOx furnace. Um, it is in a horizontal configuration. Uh, this is a 60,000 BTU furnace, so it makes it a four ton in size. The model number on this furnace is 59 SU5A060E1716. Um, we moved this from a closet that was downstairs. The old furnace uh, was really noisy and inefficient, so they wanted something new, quieter, and better air distribution. So that's why we moved it to the attic. Um, up here, uh, the way we configured it is that we did have to cut a new attic access to get it up here. We have to put a platform in front of it to access it. We put this unit on hangers, which you can see here, which is all thread and unistrut. So all thread hanging down from the roof rafters, unistrut underneath with vibration isolation uh, pads underneath that to minimize vibration. Um, it uses a two inch PVC flue vent because this is a 95% furnace and we can vent that out of the side of the house horizontally uh, instead of going vertical. So you have some options with that venting. Uh, we did have to run uh, electrical to the attic to power the unit as well as put a light. So we have a switch right here, uh, our light above my head, and then there is our uh, plug where we plug the furnace into a 115 volt outlet. So we had to move that from the furnace closet up here. Also, you can see our gas line right here. We ran that from way over there. It's about 14 feet away, all the way across the attic to the gas flex, put a sediment, a sediment trap on that, and that goes into the furnace for the gas supply. On the 95% furnace, you can also see under there, it is a condensating furnace, so it is uh, creates condensation when it runs, so we tap that into the primary drain line. Um, on this furnace, we also did an I-Wave, oh, an I-Wave air purifier, and you can see that mounted on top of the furnace here. Um, that is to help with air purification. Um, it also has the one inch filter rack on this side where the filter is, so you can come up in the attic and change the filter. Uh, the other option for filtration would just be standard filters in the return grills, which we had to cut in with, with the new ductwork when we move it to the attic. On this side, we do have an ADP horizontal four ton uh, evaporator coil. Uh, the model on that is C48H175P159. Um, so that adapts right onto the furnace on this side. Underneath it, we have all of our uh, drain lines coming off. So we have a drain pan that has a kill switch. We have a primary drain and a secondary drain. The primary goes outside to a pea gravel pit. Um, if that were ever to fail, we have a secondary drain line that goes and drips over a window so you would see it. And then we have the kill switch on the pan. So if any water hits the pan, kills the system so it doesn't drip through and hit your ceiling. Um, the next thing that we did on this system was all new ductwork. So it did have old asbestos ductwork. So you can see we did a lot of ductwork in this attic. I'll kind of pan around here and there's ductwork everywhere. Um, we moved it to the attic, got rid of the asbestos. So the first thing we did was we did a return plenum on the back. That's this big metal box here. And we have actually two return ducts. We have one large 16 inch duct and that goes to a nice big grill in the hallway by the bedrooms. That pulls the heat out of that side of the house. But then we did a 12 inch duct that runs all the way around to the other side of the house. And that pulls out of the living room's high ceiling. So now it is going to be a more balanced system because we have returns that are in both sides of the house. Much more even flow for the system as well. 
So on those hot days, that high ceiling in the living room is gonna pull the heat out of there, as well as the bedroom side of the house. So it keeps it very even. On this side of the system, we have our supply ducts. This is what puts out the colder, hot air. Um, and right now we, 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 we moved everything to the attic, so we had to reconfigure it. So we have a supply plenum, and off of that, we cut five different start collars, and these ducts run all over to the different areas of the house. Um, they're all insulated with the pink insulation. They're sealed properly with duct sealer and Panduit straps. Um, it is R8 flex duct. All these ducts are larger in diameter than the previous asbestos ducts, where asbestos ducts are primarily for heat only. When AC is on, it's a higher volume of air. So we wanted to make sure that this system was balanced properly with return air as well as supply air. So it's equal on both sides for very low static and very little stress on the system when it runs. And it also makes the house very comfortable and the air moves very quietly through the house to cool it or heat it. So you can see all these ducts are R8 ducts. So that means it's bigger, better insulation. It's strapped properly. They're sealed properly. Um, all these junctions here where there's ty's that's where we put the balancing dampers so we can control airflow if you want more to one room and less to another room so let me know what you think of this installation uh we just finished it uh and uh you know it's it's going to be great for the customer they had a 30 year old system so this is like night and day you're moving it to the attic getting much better airflow distribution a much quieter system because it's in the attic more efficient system with the new furnace and coil, uh, better filtration with the iWave air purifier and the filter that we did on the furnace up here, easier to vent with the two inch flue vent. And then on the side note, we did match this with a slimline carrier condenser outside that I will do another video on the outside portion of the system so you can see what that's all about. So uh, let me know what you think of this. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. If you would like an estimate on this type of a system moving to attic or just changing out your system or any other carrier products, let me know. Give me a call at 714 five two six six three six eight and uh, as always visit us on our website at www.albertair.com thank you for watching